Um, the next question uh, is where and how often do you perform? And I think we just covered that. You guys, I'm, I'm going to mutate that question a little mm -hmm. bit to suit you. Some of these questions are geared towards uh, players who are not world travelers and recording sure. artists, some <coughs> of them. But um, let's mutate that question a little bit. Um, you guys tour incessantly is the word I would use. Mm -hmm. And hard touring. I mean, this is not... This is not... Um, you know, playing arenas with, you know, first class hotel rooms and, yeah, you know, wonderful catering and stuff. You guys tour hard touring. Yeah, it's it is. Um, some of it is really hard. I mean, for example, the last tour we did was flying all the time. Mo all of the shows except for two we flew to. And um, that seems like, oh, wow, well, that's great, right? You're flying. It's much faster than driving. It's <laughs> like, well, when you drive, you get to rest. Mm -hmm. When you fly, you have to check in all of this gear. You know, we bring our guitars and usually cymbals, snare, you know, a, um, a small mixer for Paul. You know, we have, ah, it's usually like maybe 18 to 20 pieces of luggage that we bring, and some of it's pretty heavy. That all has to be checked in. Then you're passing immigration every day if you're going from one country to the other. Um, and and usually we're playing kind of late, so you know a lot of the a lot of the time we'll be finishing off a show at like midnight, and getting getting back to the hotel, get cleaned up and everything because you're sweaty. So you're trying to get to sleep at around two in the morning, maybe one thirty two in the morning. Then you have to wake up at five in the morning to get ready to go to the lobby to get your ride over to the to the um, airport and start the two and a half hour checking in and getting on the plane process and then you fly a couple hours and get off and so it's it is kind of hectic in that it's just not you're not really a, when you're doing the flying shows you don't end up getting an eight hour night of sleep very often mm -hmm. and that adds up after a while it was easier to do that kind of touring when we were younger right. um so that that's the tougher the tougher kind of touring is when you're flying, believe it or not. When you're on a bus, you get to stretch out and sleep all night. The, the tour we're about to do in the States will be pretty easy because mm -hmm. we, we'll just be on the bus every night. The driver drives while we're sleeping. He sleeps while we're doing our thing. And, mm -hmm. and so it goes. Everybody's well-rested. But, um, yeah, the flying tours are more challenging. They're, now, they're worth it because the shows are great. But, you know. That was South America? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did Our biggest tour yet of Latin America was some... Mexico, Central America, and South America. Um, I think it wound up being 21 shows total. So that that's a lot. And wow. we flew to all of them except for two where we were able to drive from one city to the other. But um, that's a lot of flights, you know. So after a while, you know, if you've gone a few days in a row where you're only getting maybe three, four hours of sleep, you start to feel like you're not quite at your best, you know. <laughs> but... Um, we made it anyhow, and it was so much fun anyway. Mm -hmm. We had a great time. We were out with Napalm Death, and they're great oh, people. Yeah. You know, It was so much fun to tour with them. So really, if people are upbeat, and they always are, you know yeah. what I mean? It like, doesn't matter if you're a little, little tired or whatever. Or you're waiting in the 10th line of the week mm -hmm. you know, to, to go through security or whatever. You're, if you're there with people that are in a good mood, it's, it's fine. You know, and then the shows, like I said, the shows just can't be beat. Some of the best shows we've done all year were on that tour. It was so much fun. A lot of fans down there. Yeah, yeah. Like um, there was a video floating around that someone <laughs> shot from the balcony of the show we did in, in um, Chile. And, you know, we don't see it from that angle. We see it from the front. And kind of honestly, most of the time I'm watching my left hand to make sure I'm nailing the parts. So um, being able to, to see the pit and everything is wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that was a big show. It was I've seen amazing. That video. Yeah, yeah. 